Retro Rocks Gaming Videos. Hey Rob here and today we're talking about the Radica Sega Genesis 6 and 1 plug and play. Say that one three times fast. Come on. Say it. Let's hear it. Anyway, this is volume one of a two volume set. The other set is red. I've already previously done a video on it. Here's the volume two edition, this red guy right here. Uh, one thing I want you to notice, if you take a look, I think the volume one is a bit prettier. They went through the trouble of having kind of the starburst design on it. Uh, so I think they put a little bit more thought into this one. Although, obviously, the molds are the same. Uh, if you look, they're pretty much identical. It's just that I think they uh, th this was kind of the premier device, and then this one was more of an afterthought. Uh, the games kind of show that, too. Although the games are pretty good on the Volume 2, uh, the games on Volume 1 are quite a bit better. This one includes the original Sonic the Hedgehog, Kid Chameleon, which is really good, Flicky, which I don't remember, Altered Beast, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, and the excellent Golden Axe. All right, so let's take a look at this controller. As I've said in my previous coverage of the Volume 2, it is very similar in size and shape to the original Genesis controller. Wouldn't be surprised if they use the same molds. Although I actually would be because this is kind of uh, this is kind of uh, smooth, and this one actually has kind of a rougher texture, so maybe they didn't. But they certainly have the dimensions right. The D-pads are nearly identical. In f uh, that's a lie. Volume two had a very close to original D-pad. This one, however, no, it is not. It is a clickier D-pad, and it feels cheaper. Huh? Who do they? You know, I haven't actually touched this thing. I've looked at it a few times. I played uh, my friends, but I have not been playing with this one. Yeah. You know, I hate to say it, but the D-pad on this feels substantially cheaper than the one on the red model or the original. And the buttons, as I said on the earlier one, are kind of chits. Uh, there's no, there's no A, B, or C emblazoned on them. Uh, <laughs> embezzled on them. What the heck word am I looking for? Oh. <laughs> Engraved. <laughs> embezzled. Damn bit embezzled. All right, so yeah. Uh, I'll be darned. It does feel cheaper. Has a start and menu button. So you can go back to the menu, start a game. Real easy to figure it out. Yeah. Well, it definitely looks better in appearance, but uh, but no, it does not uh, have as good of a feel as the red model too. So maybe they improved the D-pad feel. I wonder how this is going to play, honestly, with this. Uh, also, I've got the Genesis itself right here, or quote Genesis. It's a little mini Genesis. Looks a lot like one power button top and center interesting thing about this is it does have there we go a spot for an eight volt adapter it did not six volt sorry six volt geez it's standard uh six volt adapter which uh it did not include you usually just got it and had to put batteries in it which is at the bottom it has this little screwdriver thing which i absolutely hate takes four double a batteries to power it up uh, speaking of powering it up, why don't we turn off cam 2 here and let's flick on the video capture so we can take a look at this system in all of its glory. All right, power it up. There we go. All right, I'm going to turn myself off. <laughs> By looking in the mirror. No. No. All right, here we go. So, let's start with Sonic the Hedgehog. This feels questionable. Yeah, you, ha you have to hit the start button. That actually sounds pretty good. I've heard uh, complaints about the sound quality on these, and no, they sound pretty original to me. Here we go.
And not surprisingly, it... get back. Well, I did get it. Not surprisingly, it looks pretty good. Blast processing. Which is a uh, chunk of marketing BS. We Sonic 1 is really, in my opinion, the best of them. I really kind of liked it. I thought it got a little bit too dependent on uh, breakneck speed in later editions and just barreling through stuff. But I thought uh, the first one was pretty good. All right, let's go back to the menu, try another game here. Let's go with Golden Axe. <laughs> I used to love this game. It's one of my buddy Larry's favorite games. Oh no! That's right. Hear that click? That's from those overly, ooh, that was nice. Overly clicky buttons. I don't know how to feel about that. Man, that's some button earring. All right, back to the menu with this. Kid Chameleon. Hmm. Forget how good the graphics on the Genesis were. They really were quite nice. The heck, I was just up there. Yeah, well. Sweet! No! Die. Hmm. Ooh, that sucked. Ugh, get... There we go. Another helmet. I suppose I'm supposed to go like this. Oops. There we go. All right. Nice effect there. Altered Beast. This is one of the first games I bought for the Genesis. Wise from your grave. Sounds like Mr. Fudd. Elmer Fudd. Elmer Fudd, not Mr. Fudd. Yeah. Wise from your grave, Wesley Wabbit. Ugh. 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 This game was such a big deal. I would say I'm out of practice, but 
I've always been pretty rubbish at it, so... Ugh. <laughs> yeah, now you're getting your butts kicked. Now I'm getting my butt kicked. Move it! God! Ooh. No, you guys... Really? Really? Come on! No, oh, I need that power up. Seriously, they're just like walking around with their heads off. Keep going. No. <laughs> I like that his wings fly off without him. Now you're in trouble. Now I'm in trouble. I can sit here forever. Yep, I'm dead. All right, that's it. Back to the menu. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Kind of a Dr. Mario slash Yoshi's cookie ripoff. I think I've played this game like once. Ooh, it looks nice though. Oh yeah, this is a versus game. I like this type of uh, little puzzle game. There we go. Oop, what do you need for? Ass. That is BS. Yeah, this is going to be... <sighs> this is one of those, hey, we're never going to give you the right freaking piece uh, games, I take it. There a reason why it's not crapping on this guy? Hmm. Now we're getting somewhere. Damn it! annoying because it lays like a whole freaking layer on top of everything.
There we go. Maybe this will get him. Come on. Oh, come. All right, mistakes were made. I'll admit it on that. There we go. He's close to done, I think. Yay, there we go. Finally, we've got Flicky. Flicky sounds like the name of like a booger game. It was very childish, I'll admit. So what do we have here? We've got tigers. We got Flicky, who appears to be some kind of bird. We got Chirp, who's definitely a bird, and Iggy, who's I don't know. There's the booger. Now I don't know what that thing is. What's Iggy supposed to be? Hmm. This looks a lot like Mappy, doesn't it? Let's see how it plays. One I have not played here. All right, so I am supposed to catch the birds. Oh, and stay away from the... No! This is going to be kind of hard. Jesus. Yay! How many do I have to capture? I don't think I captured them all. Is it elephant? What is? <laughs> I lost some birds. No! Get away! Get away! No! Son of a bitch. Here we go. Oh, it's nice I could I could attack them with whatever the heck that is. Somebody who's played Flicky, could you please inform me as to what the heck is going on here? What is Flicky supposed to be? Some kind of bird? What's the green thing? What is going on here? Still not a, a terrible game. I've definitely seen worse stuff, but uh, weird to say the least. All right, so that's all six games of the Sega Genesis. Six in one. Plug and play by Radica. Um, honestly, I thought I was going to like it a little bit more. <laughs> I mm, I think, in general, given the better controls, slightly better controls, it might just be because the uh, second one I have is broken in, but, uh, and given the game selection, I actually think I like uh, the second one better. Uh, color me surprised. Anyway, what do you think? Uh, give me a comment in the space below. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you next week. Actually, it's going to be before next week. It'll probably be in a couple days. I've got a uh, Namco plug-and-play that is one of my favorite plug-and-plays of all time. I sold it a while back, and I found one for a dollar at a thrift store. So I'm definitely going to review that one. All right. Thanks for watching.